Hi and welcome to the Azam Shark channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and in this video we are going to talk about the blur effect. Uh, you can create blur effects in iOS 7 and iOS 6 but iOS 8 introduced some new classes that will allow you to easily create blur effects. Um, let's go ahead and run this application that we, we will be working on so that you have an idea of what blur effects I'm talking about. Right now, this is the application. We have a background over here. You can see a nice green background with leaves and raindrops. Uh, if I open up this default menu, uh, basically the quick access and launch board, you can see there are different, uh, the, the, the background is actually blurred, okay? Um, so we're going to create something kind of similar to this one, and you will see that how easy it is to create that. So in the touches begin, we already are firing a, a function called show menu. So let's go ahead and, and comment this out. Now we don't really have a show menu. So let's go ahead and create this function. I'm just going to copy paste it because this is not really important function. Uh, and you will understand it once you, once you look at it. Here we go. The main work is actually done in the create menu view. And that, that is what we have to do. Function create menu view. Okay. And let's see. I think we are going to return um, UI view on it. All right. So what's going on over here? Basically, we are going to create a view, okay, and then we are going to create a UI blur effect and then the UI visual effects view. We're going to then add the blur effect into the view, set the size of the blur view to the menu view that we're going to create, and then finally, we are going to insert the blur view inside the menu view, okay? So let's go ahead and create a menu view first. So let menu view and this is a menu that is going to pop from from the bottom when we you know when i when i click uh, or when i touch the screen okay, this is a menu that is going to you're going to see that um zero y will be self dot view dot bounds dot height so this will be the y location the y position self dot view dot bounds dot width and self dot view dot bounds dot height this is just the the height of the the menu we're going to give it uh, maybe the half the height let's go ahead and run this is going to say build failed say return menu view just to make it pass just to make it compile all right um, let's set the menu view dot background color to be the clear color so you can see through it. There we go. I'm going to build it again. Um, this is Xcode 6.1 and you, you can see that it's, it's you know, it's a little, there are little glitches here and there. So that's why it's always complaining. Now we're going to create a blur effect. All right. So UI, we have blur effect, and then we have to pass in the style. Um, the style, we're going to say light, and then we're going to say blur view equal to UI visual effects view, and then we have to pass in the effect. Now, the effect in this case will be our blur effect. And then setting the blur view frames, we're going to say blur view dot frame equal to menu view dot frame. All right. Let's say bound frames. We're going to compile this. It's okay. And then finally, we're going to say menu view dot insert sub view. We're going to add the blur view. Okay. Uh, at index zero. Go ahead and do this. All right. 
and that's pretty much it all right so let's go ahead and see our code over here once we we touch the screen anywhere basically it's going to say show menu show menu is going to fire over here uh, very simple animation is going to fire create menu view is a main function that we just implemented which will allow you to see the blur view okay so let's go ahead and run this looks okay to me and here we go the animation is with the spring animation animation with damping and all that you can set up the animation if you want but let's go ahead and do this again because right now we don't have the code uh, to to make it go away okay so if I click and then be careful to see over here in this area you can see that it and the the, the background is now blurred now it's, it doesn't uh, look that bad but it doesn't also look that good but in this case we can uh, take some uh, benefit from using the dark style or the dark blur effect instead of the light and when I click now you can see uh, the much darker menu basically appears or the effect of the blur dark effect is much more and you can place your menu items over here whatever you want or some sort of a message or anything basically that you want and now the focus of, of the person is actually over here okay and that is literally it I mean uh, in the iOS 7 and uh, iOS 7 you can see the, most of the things actually blur out right once you once you receive a phone call then uh, the, the blur out screen you will see and then the background is blurred out and you have the notification center and all that stuff and you can now in iOS 8 you can easily create those things using the UI visual effects view uh, which basically allows you to create the same kind of blur effects that Apple is using throughout iOS 7. So this is a very handy class, right? And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I mean, it's pretty much two, three lines of code and you're done with creating your nice blur effect. And that's it. Thank you very much and uh, I hope you like it.